Support for this project is provided by Garnica Plywood. Challenge the ordinary with Garnica Plywood. For this project, I'm using HDF, a high-density fiberboard surface with a European poplar plywood core. Garnica HDF is a great choice for painted cabinets. And Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. Hey, what's up guys? This week I'm starting a kitchen pantry project. These are the upper cabinets. You can see I've already built one. I'm about to build the next one. And as I'm building it, I'll point out some of the details. This is basically going to be a box that's installed on the wall and then I'll put the face frame around it. Now this is a custom project, so more than likely these exact measurements wouldn't fit in your home. But if you want to build something similar to this, I will have a drawing, a cut list, and a list of the moldings that I'm going to use for the project. And that should be a helpful guide if you decide to build this project. Let's go ahead and get to work. I'll start by putting the sides of the cabinet face to face and making sure they're flush. And then measuring up from the bottom, I'll make a mark at two inches. I'll use a straight edge to connect the marks and I'll attach the top of the shelf at the line. That'll leave room under the shelf for a light fixture. At the top of the cabinet, I attach the top flush with the top of the side. I've measured and marked and now I'll drill holes through the inside of the cabinet. Flip the side over and then countersink the holes. Now I'm ready to attach the top and bottom, essentially building the cabinet. I'll use wood glue and tack the parts in place first with an inch and a half nail. And then for a stronger joint, I'll use a few inch and five eighths screws. Notice how I have the top of the cabinet propped up with these quarter inch shims. That's because the sides of the cabinet are a quarter inch deeper than the top and bottom, and that's to allow for the back of the cabinet. Now that I have the cabinet put together, I'm going to add a plywood filler at the top and the bottom. And that'll give the cabinet a little support, but it will also provide a nailer for the face frame. The next step is to add the supports to the back of the cabinet. There'll be one at the top and one at the bottom. And for this part of the build, I'm using solid wood. I'm using solid wood here because this is how I'm going to anchor the cabinets to the wall. I'll be screwing through the supports. I also took a little extra time and put a chamfer bit in the router to put a decorative edge on the support. And that's not necessary, but it is a nice touch. I'll attach the supports with wood glue, a few inch and a half nails, and a two inch screw through the side and into the support. Now I'm ready to drill the holes for the adjustable shelf pins. I marked it at 18 for this cabinet, and I'll use a square and square across, or draw a line. And this is the Rockler adjustable shelf pin jig and today's the first time I used it and I really like it. 
So I've just lined up the lines on the jig with the line on the cabinet. I'll make sure everything's good. And you can clamp it in place too for a little more insurance. That way it doesn't move around on you in case you accidentally knock it. You can see how the line on the jig matches up with the line on the inside of the cabinet. Now I'm ready to drill the holes. Moving on to the shelves, I'll mill strips of poplar at an inch and a quarter to band the edge. Because I have a drum sander, I'll rip the material just a little bit heavy and then one pass on each side does a great job of removing the blade marks. Now I'll mill the material for the face frame and I'll attach the face frame to the cabinet after the cabinets are installed on the wall. For the molding on this cabinet, at the top I'm going to make this piece of molding. I'm starting with a piece of stock that measures 3 quarters by 1 inch and I'll use a fluted roundover bit to make the molding. Underneath that piece of molding, I've got a simple piece of molding that you can get at the home store and at the bottom of the cabinet I'm using a small base cap and you can also get this at the home store and I'll have this drawing on my website if you'd like to refer to it. I'll prime the cabinets before the install and this is the Rockler HVLP sprayer. I'm spraying a latex acrylic primer thinned by about 10% with clean water. For the backs of the cabinets, I'm using quarter inch beadboard. I'll cut it to size and attach it to the cabinet with a few three quarter inch nails, being sure to tilt the gun a little bit on an angle so I don't blow through the inside of the cabinet. The first step on the install is to locate the studs and then attach a wooden cleat to the wall. Now I can rest the cabinets on the cleat put them in position and attach the cabinets to the wall with a few 3 inch long deck screws. With both cabinets on the wall, I'll clamp the cabinets together and attach them to each other with inch and a quarter screws. Now moving on to the fun part, trimming out the front of the cabinet with the face frame and attaching the face frame with wood glue and inch and a half nails. With the face frame attached, I'll move on to trimming the cabinet with the molding. And this is the type of work that I'll never get tired of. I really enjoy this type of work. Just dressing up the cabinet and, and finishing up the job never gets old for me. With the cabinet hanging securely on the wall, the last step is to remove the wooden cleat. Okay, so that was basically part one of this project. I will be building lower cabinets with drawers 
It will have a Sapili top. The room will get painted, the cabinets will get painted, and it should look really nice. And as these projects get done, I'll make sure that there's a link to a playlist in the description. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. For a behind-the-scenes look at projects and weekly giveaways, subscribe to my second channel, Shop Talk. To see what I'm working on now, follow me on Instagram. I'll have links in the description.